Hello people of YouTube, I am back again, this time with another Metal Earth Star Wars kit. This is the AT-AT or AT-AT. I've already done the Millennium Falcon and the Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. I actually have another Millennium Falcon here I'm probably going to put together because there were some problems with the first one. and. <laughs> biggest of which we put the stand on backwards and I kind of want to try again but this video is going to be about the AT-AT walker it is one of the four the only other one is the R2-D2 I've not been able to locate that locally I could order it online but what I've been doing has been getting these from AC Moore and I'm signed up with one of their I don't know they have, they have my email and they keep sending coupons. So every time they send a 50 or 55% off coupon, oh, you've been grabbing one of these. But R2 is not there, so I'm gonna keep checking. Let's open this up. I imagine it's very much the same thing. Two metal sheets, instructions that may or may not be clear. But let's see what we can make of it. Let's tear it open. Let's rip it open. Instructions. Sheets of metal. Need to get more lighting. All right. Let's take a minute to study the directions. Assembly flowchart. Okay, I, thought, I think I'm starting to understand these directions slightly better as I do the kits. This seems to be separated in pieces. I think you've got how to assemble the head of the ACAT and some dotted lines. And then this is different. This looks like taking the legs and attaching them to the body. And then continuing forth to the feet. And I believe this is connected to over here where it shows you assembling the legs. It's a little scattered. But these two pieces, this comes from over. You do this, then to this, you do this up here, and this all comes together here. I don't know. I'm going to do my best. I have decided to do something a little different with this video. Instead of just showing a sped up video of the entire assembly, I have decided to focus on just a few highlights. The idea is simple. You take the pieces off the trees, bend them as necessary, and then put them together. They connect together via small tabs. Some of these tabs are just bent over. Mostly this is going to be for tabs that are on the surface and more visible. Other tabs are going to be twisted. Twisted tabs are more secure and usually only on the inside or where it will not be shown after completion. There are green triangles and blue circles on the instructions that indicate whether to bend or twist the tabs. Many of the parts are simply bent over to the proper angle, but there are a number of pieces that have to be curved into place. For me, making this curve just by hand is difficult and usually ends badly. I have found it quite helpful to use pens, pencils, or even dowel rods to help shape the curves. Fortunately for me, I had some dowel rod pieces lying around. The feet of the at, at walker are round. There are two pieces per foot that are formed from a straight piece of metal into a circle. I used a crochet hook I had laying around on the smaller piece and a dowel rod for the other larger. There's one tab that holds the circles together. This has given me trouble in the past, but with using a dowel rod or crochet hook, I'm able to slightly bend the tab and then just roll the part against the table, thus bending the tab securely the rest of the way over. It worked perfectly. And when it came time to line up the tabs with the other parts, things came together quite easily. To free parts from the tree, 
You have to bend them back and forth until the small connections come loose. Some of the very small parts were too tiny for my big fingers, so I used the tweezers to hold on to the smaller parts while I worked them loose. One problem I ran into, however, was that the main body had broken in half from being flexed back and forth while trying to get other parts free. In hindsight, I wished I'd have taken the larger part off sooner so that it was not subject to so much flex. Luckily, I was still able to work the two pieces together and complete the kit. Another thing I have learned working with these models is that you have to pay close attention to how they go together. Take your time and check the pictures if there's any doubt. There are some times or some things that are not clearly shown in the instructions. For instance, with the top ring of the feet, it is not clear which way the opening faces. I looked at the picture to help work out which way it goes. If you put it together wrong and twist the tabs, getting it back apart later to fix it is nearly impossible and will likely break the part. It is also easy to accidentally attach parts so the outside is facing in or vice versa. Be careful. Much like the advanced TIE Fighter, I wish I had not bent all the sides of the head together before attaching the small pieces around it. I had to open it back up a little to get the other pieces attached securely. I am very lucky that the pins did not break, well, most of them anyway. There are a couple of very small pieces that did break off. And there you have the completed at at walker I managed to get it together despite these two parts being broken off accidentally I basically just bent two of the tabs completely over and it's just barely holding together I think if you tapped it the wrong way it would kind of crack open or if that continues if that sitting on the table that's some problem but if it starts to be, then I'll address it. I did edit quite a lot of parts out of the video of the assembly. I was going to do a high speed like I've done before, but I, there's some details I wanted to focus on, some things that it would have been helpful for me to know if this were my first time. So trying to kind of help others. But there are so many points in the video where I'm just sitting there looking at the directions, trying to figure out how does this work? Where's this part? How does that fit together? Because you, you do have to be careful. You do have to pay attention. It's really easy to to get parts all wrong. The, de the instructions are, I won't say they're not detailed. They're not that detailed. And these parts have detailing on one side of the metal. This is a, a piece from a previous kit. The parts have detailing on one side but are blank on the other and this one's very very obvious which way this one goes very obvious but some of the parts some of the smaller parts it's not so obvious and it could be easy to put it backwards there were a couple situations where I thought I was putting it on right but after you fold and, and do and whatnot it's like oh wait no that was supposed to go the other way so do be careful thank you for watching my video Hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, any comments, please leave them down below. And also check out some of the other Star Wars Metal Art videos I've got. I've got the Millennium Falcon, I've got the Advanced TIE Fighter, and at some point perhaps I'll have R2, D2. And I hear rumors that they're coming out with more. The um, standard TIE Fighter, the X-Wing Fighter, and maybe a couple others. And if and when they do, I'm going to jump on them because that sounds really cool. But once again, thank you for watching, and keep on keeping on.